Hey guys welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we're going to do a magic calabash reading okay so we're just going to go in here we're going to give it a swirl and we're going to see who's going to come out today um to give us the message okay so let's just give it a nice mix up nice mix okay and let's see who comes through Let me get this. Is that somebody up here? All right, so we have a partner coming through. Now, this could be your person. This could be someone connected to your person. Um, This could be someone connected to you. All right. Is this your person, someone connected to you, or someone connected to your person so they're saying it is your person all right so your person is coming forward all right no problem and what does your person want to talk about let's go into this deck what does your person want to talk about Underneath the deck, we have a light. They're moving towards the light. Well, not 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 crossing over, but certainly death energy. So this is them surrendering to spirit, surrendering to this journey, um, and moving forward. You see, they're moving forward from the dark story that they've been trapped in for a long time. Another card, number 13. So that death energy um, here again, okay? So your person has been living in, feeling stuck in, trapped in, um, the dark story of their life. So it's someone who might uh, be dealing with CPTSD, um, someone who just had such a tragic past. So many different horrible things happening um, to them. Okay. It's just my fluffy mic. Okay. It's not a bad. Right. Um, <laughs> so many different things um, having happened to them. And, you know, just viewing the world through um, a skewed lens, a, a lens where there's no joy where there's no love so they're moving from the dark or the dense um to the light here okay all right let's have a look what do they want to talk about all right we have a rebel coming through so they want to talk about when they may have rebelled against or resisted this connection why me and no right we, we're gonna find out <laughs> i don't know what i want to talk about that but that's what i'm getting let me make sure that's what i want to talk about i put some cards but that's what i got i put some cards but that's what i got Underneath the deck, no boundaries. Seven of Wands in reverse, no boundaries. Okay, they had no boundary. Or well, it could be that they were feeling vulnerable. Seven of Wands in reverse is a card of vulnerability. All right, but I want to talk about when they resisted. That's what I'm getting. Let's pull three cards on that Rebel card. Magician in reverse, yeah. When they were being um, a master manipulator, right? When they weren't standing in their power, the sun card in reverse, right? But it looks like now they have gotten some kind of clarity, okay? And they want to share that with you, okay? They've gotten some kind of clarity on the times when they were in this energy, and they want to share that with you. All right, what do they want to share? So this is someone who wants to be seen by you and who wants to be understood, 
by you they want you to understand i don't think they give a rat's ass about what other people think about them but they care about what you think about them okay so they've come to give an explanation all right let's see what do they want to share we have the page of cups why do i get a butt somewhere coming in here the two of wands in reverse that's the butt the three of swords in reverse And we have the two of swords in reverse, which goes to the ace of swords. Alrighty. So what do they want you to know about this whole rebel energy here? They want you to know that they've always liked you. They've always had an emotional connection to you. They've always been emotionally attached to you. Um, and there's something about you that really reached the innermost core. And in fact, it, it, it so penetrated the innermost core that they will feel... They used to feel very vulnerable um, around here. They didn't, like, they didn't like that because it made them feel like a child. And their childhood wasn't necessarily a nice place. Okay. So they're telling you that they may have gone the other way or they may have made a different choice. Or they may have moved away from you or moved in a different direction. But it had nothing to do with you or your worthiness. It all had to do with them resisting healing their heartbreak and pain. And being immensely triggered by you. So they want you to know that. I don't. They they're say it's, it's something that they didn't see before. They you see they've only got recently gotten this download. Okay. This is someone who's now learning why they operate the way they operate. I don't think they understood why they did the things that they did or do until now. So this is someone analyzing themselves. And they're realizing that they walked away from you in the past, even though they had feelings for you um, because you made them feel vulnerable and they were caught and trapped in their heartbreak and pain from the past. Some of them already had a third party. We see it here with the seven of swords. Um, this, what am I saying? Seven of swords. With this three of swords um, in reverse. Okay. Um, but they've only just gotten clarity on why they did the things that they did. Um, they also want you to know that they have been doing the work. Okay, they have been doing the work. They've been doing the work and they um, have gotten clarity on who you are to them and what they need to do in a particular situation. For some of you, your person has someone else. They have made a decision with regard to that issue and they want you to know that they will be dropping, leaving, disconnecting from this third party and moving in a different direction and they're moving out of the dark story um into the light okay because that dark story no longer resonates with who they are becoming so that's why they rebelled against this connection you made them feel vulnerable and they were caught up in the pain of the past and maybe even connected to a third party Okay, and they felt that it would be easier for them um, to just you guys for you guys to go separate ways. But here they are. Here they are. So let's ask them why are they here now? Okay, so you've, you've gotten that clarity recently. All right, what's precipitating this clarity? And why? No, no. Let's let's ask two questions. One. What has brought on this clarity? That's one. And two, what are their intentions? We're not mixing matters with them anymore or being coy. What are their intentions? You have to do like the old people in the Caribbean. From the time you come home the first time, what are your intentions? <laughs> All right, because they've been healing. We, we got it before. I just want to make sure um, because they have been doing the work because they've been healing. That's what's precipitating um these epiphanies that they're having and as i said epiphanies one of those epiphanies is that you are their twin or, or you are their soulmate we have the four of wands here okay so your connection has been very healing to this person your connection has allowed this person to really dive deep um into their psyche and get a lot of clarity about the negative stories or the narratives that they have been telling themselves about love, about life. Okay. Um, 
they've gotten a lot of clarity for there's a third party coming through we have three of swords we have three of pentacles they've gotten a lot of a lot of clarity as well on a karmic energy in their life it looks like a romantic partner okay and they're seeing that this romantic partner, they can't hold a candle to you, right? Remember, in my readings, all upright court cards are divine energies. So this third party, um, they can't hold a candle to you. You outshine, outperform um, everyone. They've never met anyone like you. They've never met anyone like you. And this recognition is spurring them to take action in their life to take action what are their intentions towards you what are their intentions we have the eight of pentacles in reverse i don't like that for intentions we have the Three of Cups. We have the Devil in Reverse. I feel this is long-term intentions, and I think that's what they're telling you. Um, and we have the Page of Wands. What are their intentions? Well, their intentions is to, one, stop investing or stop putting the effort into some kind of third party in their life. Now, Three of Cups could talk about addictions too, Okay. So they're going to stop, you know, indulging in any kind of numbing behaviors, any kind of behaviors that allow for disconnection and not dealing with their issues because they do intend to deal with their issues. We have the devil in reverse. Okay. So whether this devil speaks to um, some kind of toxic habit, whether this devil speaks to um, a relationship, whether this devil speaks to their own inner, inner demons, their intention um, is to conquer it because it's always impacted upon your connection. Um, I see them wanting a fresh start with you here. Okay. So I see them reaching out. They're going to be kind of flirtatious. Um, but it's going to be very light, very innocent um, right now because they realize that they have, they have a lot to deal with before they can begin anything with you. But their intention is to begin something new um, with you. Okay. We want to know now, what are their innermost feelings where you are concerned? I saw a page of cups on top there, but that's not good enough. We deserve more than page of cups. What is their innermost feelings with regard to you? We have the queen of pentacles in reverse. That's a karmic energy. We have the lovers in reverse. That's making a choice. We have the king of wands. There's, there's a third party here. And we have the four of cups. They have been bored and lonely without you. Which is not necessarily good enough. But what makes it better is the lovers in reverse. Because that is about making a choice for love. So what do they want you to know? That you are their lover. Okay. For some of you, your person has a third party. That person does not compare um, to you. And they're going to take action in that situation. Um, they are unstimulated by this person. Okay. They're uninspired by this person. And the life that they are either living or have lived with this person... Um, has been dull and has been unfulfilling and they intend to take action because they want to follow their heart and their heart is with you the lovers are the lovers is here and it's in reverse so they have made a choice so what are their innermost feelings the innermost feelings is that you are the one the innermost feelings is that you are the next half of their soul the innermost feelings is that this is a soul connection and that they can never replace you although they did try and they did fail
So we found out why they rebelled against or resisted this connection. They wanted you to know that. That's that's the main message that they came with. We found out why um, they're coming forward now with that message. We found out what their intentions are. We've looked at their innermost feelings for you. But let's look and see what the ancestors have to say about this person and their confessions. Hold on. That was their confession. So let us, let us, um, <laughs> Usher causing all kind of problems these days. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's see. All right, so your person's come forward. They're made of confession. What do the ancestors think about everything that they have said? What I'm going to do in the um, extended, I am going to read a channeled letter from your person. So I wrote this. Well, I typed it. I typed it before I did this reading. So we're going to see. If it resonates, if there are any nexuses, um, we're going to look at what's happening in your person's life right now. We're going to get some 3D messages from your person. And we will look at their next actions towards you. All right, so let's see what they have to say. What do the ancestors have to say? They want to talk about a masculine energy. And we want, they might want to talk about a hidden enemy. There's someone here in the background wanting to play the ass. Okay. <clears throat> so they have friend. They're saying you can trust this person. They are your friend. We have the master. And that is about the magician self-discipline. Self-mastery. We have heartbreak. And we have sexual attraction. Alrighty. Okay. So um they're kind of giving um well kinda their stamp of approval um with the progress that your person has made. And they let you know that this person is your friend, or they consider themselves your friend, and you can trust them. This is someone who has been working hard in the background to master themselves and master their emotions and master their will to take charge of their life and they were driven to do this through um their heartbreak it looks like recently they may have felt you pulling away from them maybe you're no longer indulging um with them sexually okay because sexual attraction is here Maybe they have always had that kind of hold on you and they're seeing that but little bit by little bit more and more. Um, you're not interested in just that anymore. You want the whole pie and not just piece of the pie, right? So with that and with this person recognizing if they didn't take action that they would lose you, that's when this person started to level up. So basically what the ancestors are saying is things are going as planned, okay? Things are going as planned. Um, this person really has honorable te intentions towards you, but they're also letting you know that they still have some ways to go. So the best plan of action moving forward um, is to truly be their friend, truly be their friend in order to protect your heart and um, align with your principles. They're saying truly be um, this person's friend because that's what they need right now and certainly that's what you need right now as well okay all right so join me in the extended and what i'll do there let me read that letter that i channeled and we're going to look at what's happening in your person's life we're going to get some 3d messages from your person and then we're going to look at their next actions towards you okay all right my love thank you so much for tuning in oh no let me give you some advice let me give you some advice sorry sorry about that Let me give you some advice. All 
All right, so what we have here is unexpected visitors in reverse. <laughs> so it looks like you've been waiting for this app and you kind of knew what's going to happen anyways. Okay, all right, let's see. We have magic prayer. What is this about? Card number 32. Magic prayer. And she has long hair. She's wise, right? Because wisdom is all symbolized by long hair, and especially long white hair. All right. When we see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the breast prayer is, Thy will be done through me. Thy will and not mine will be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power. Be assured that you are on the right path. So spirit is letting you know um right now that your prayers will be answered and your prayers will be answered because you are listening to the messages um within you are following your heart you are aligning to your higher self and your highest truth right so your prayers are going to be answered so whatever your prayer may be um in this connection spirit saying all is going to evolve and unfold as it should for your highest good okay all right, my love, so that was your reading. I hope that that was helpful. Take care.